this is Jonathan Ober with a Crazy Business Life screencast. Um, I have the tabs open here for Crazy Business Life, and then I'm logged into the dashboard here, wp-admin. I'm going to go ahead and log in with my credentials. And once I'm logged in, um, visit it here with the dash or read it here with the dashboard for WordPress. And primarily, I want to focus on posts today and just how we add new posts. I'm going to go ahead and go to posts and I'm going to go add new. And what we want to do here is this is the post title. We're going to go ahead and add our post title. And then I'm going to come over here and grab some more of Ipsum. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste that content in. So that's kind of the first basic, okay? Go ahead and hit publish. And if I come over here to my other tab and go to my blog, that, that post is published here, okay? So that's the basics, just adding in content. Now, from time to time, you may want to add a different uh, bit of heading text. So this is a heading to draw attention to it. Um, I can come in here and select um, a visual heading for that, and this is a subheading. Heading two and heading three. I can also um, come in here and hit bold. Um, I can italicize text. If I want to add a list, I can do a bulleted list. If I want to get out of that bullet list, I hit return, return. If I want to add a numbered list, I can go ahead and do a numbered list. Return, return to get out of it. Okay. I can offset some text, so let's say a couple paragraphs here, but this is a quote from someone. I can block quote that. I'll offset it a little bit. Also, in this current style of the site, um, you'll notice that once we go into that blog post, I'm just saving it. Um, it offsets, it puts a stroke here, a different font. Um, I haven't really stylized any of the text yet, uh, but that's there. You can also adjust your alignment, left, center, and right. If you want to hyperlink to other content, I can come up here and hit this link. Go ahead and type in an address like Google and hit apply. Um, I can also edit that link if I wanted to open up in a new tab. I click that little cogwheel, do open link in a new tab, hit update. Now when I click on that link, that'll open up a new window. So again, hyperlinking, highlight your text, hit the hyperlink, or if you're on a PC, you can do Control and the letter K, or on a Mac, Command and the letter K, and that'll also bring up that hyperlink window. You can come in here. I can, again, put in content to another site, like Google, for instance, or I can jump down here hyperlink to content that's on my site. So if you want to hyperlink to the marketing page, you can do that. Also have the ability to strike through, add a horizontal rule. Um, if do a horizontal rule, it's a faint gray line there. Um, don't really need to worry about adding text color. We're not going to do that. Um, this is an old, if you want to, older versions of Word, you had to hit this button to paste content in, but you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, this allows you to clear formatting. So let's say, for instance, we wanted to get rid of that block quote. We can highlight and then just hit clear formatting. Oh, I guess it doesn't do that. Um, let's see. Maybe it will just get rid of the bold here. Yeah, not in the italicized. Okay. It also has special characters here. In case you need things like the different money symbols, copyright, uh, registered symbol, trademark, those are there as well. Simply just put your cursor, hit, hit that button, and then do a little trademark. 
also have the ability to um, increase and decrease our indent. So if we want to have this offset, for whatever reason, you could do that. Um, you could also get rid of that by decreasing. Um, there's also undo and redo um, as well. So another one of the things that you might want to do is you might want to add some images. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just save this image. And I can show you, uh, let's just save it to my downloads, how to add an image. Okay. So say we have an image saved to our computer. We can click somewhere and go ahead to add media. And then I want to upload that file. So in my downloads folder, I'm just going to drag it to that. Um, another way that you can get images is if you go to the upload file, you can hit select and navigate through your computer that way. Okay. So this image is big. So once it's done uploading here, um, we're going to go ahead to uh, some different options. So we have left, center, right, and none as far as how we want to align that image. Um, I typically, if I don't need to have the person be able to click on the image, I just select none. I don't need a link on it. Then I can select some pre-made sizes. Our full size, which is really big, our large, medium, and thumbnail. So I'm going to go ahead and do medium. Insert into post. And that's going to go there. Now if I put that image in and I want to change its alignment, I can click on that image and come up here to align to the right. Um, I can force an alignment where every, the text goes after it, which I don't really like that, um, or I can center align. So let's go ahead with the right alignment, or left alignment. Um, sometimes you might want to add a video to your post. Um, so what I have here is I just um, went to Adobe's uh, ch uh, channel um, on YouTube. I'm just going to go ahead and um, click into this post, uh, this video of theirs, and I'm going to grab this little share link. Hit share, grab that link, and I'm going to just paste the video. And I paste that link in it. What's the video right there? Okay. Same thing with Vimeo. Sometimes you might find uh, videos on Vimeo. Um, so here's a post about businesses. And for this one, oh, that's a, uh, got a rent it. So let's not rent it. Maybe. It's also a All right, there we go. All right, so I found a video. I can, again, copy that link from their URL. Um, paste it in. I'll paste the video. And if I hit update and look at our post, see our images in there, our video is embedded in right there. I can hit play, and I'll play that video. Okay, so pretty neat. So pretty much the basic tools. Let me know if you have any questions.